Yep. We're back out. This time, we'd have lost the plot. We've gone, we've gone absolutely stupid. I mean, look at it. Tomto's up here. We've got Sid coming up behind her. This is the other heart of fell. We were up the um, Eskdale heart of fell last week. This is the Mardale one. This one's bigger. It's higher. But it's um, it's not great weather like. So we we're going to go up a bigger fell, but because of the weather, we're just going to go to small water. See where it's like there. We'll just be moved on by rangers as well can't go that way so beware of that all right so we're going up uh, up there through all the water we're with Tampo bunion size are you enjoying it I'm loving it I <laughs> do I look like, do I look like I'm enjoying you having it? fun Sid not really. <laughs> 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 He's a bit like Claudette, isn't he? Aye. <laughs> Claudette. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, so. Oh. We're loving it, really. Loving it, really. We're going to go to small water. <laughs> Look at the, just the sheets of rain going across here, man. It's, really, it's, it's, it's probably the end weather. It can't make its mind up, though. It's not like. You know what? We should just pitch here, shouldn't we? It's nice and calm here. I feel it's going to be dead windy up there. Right, oh, and we'll, pra we'll crack on. Oop. <laughs> Not far to go. We're up. We're up to uh, small water. If you know it, you know it. But it's not nice. Oh, it's not so windy though. So we might go over here. We're going to have a walk up there to the boulders. And there's a spot over there, but I think I think that's directly in the wind there, isn't it? Over the back of there. Wind's coming this way towards. So we might, oh, we'll probably end up over here. So yeah, that's it. We've made it in one piece. Just it's easing off, like it's, it's, uh, it's easing off a bit. Uh, it's easing off, aye. It's only heavy rain now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty's fed up. <laughs> like idiots, we're gonna pitch here among the rocks. Those that know, they'll know. Huh? Oh, I'm drenched, like. I don't think there's gonna be much disco tent action in it, is there? No. As in zero. If you're watching for disco tent now, just turn off now, just turn off now. It's not going to be any disco tent. So I'm going to pitch here. I've got this little bit of shelter from the wind. We should shelter all three of us, really. We're not shelter from the rain, that's the only thing. Uh, that's where I pitched once before, up there, the bottom of there. Me and Rob. Reach out. Right, here we go. Right, so... Tom was set up here by the biggest rock in the world. How the hell did that get there? Nice Little Rusty's here. Mm. Are you loving it? No, never again. Never again? <coughs> Till the next time. I'll tell the next sure time. Sure, you said that last time. <laughs> and then I'm there. So it's a merry little. It's a little. Uh, it's a little cluster of Sulus. <laughs> We're all absolutely drenched, man. Soaking. Oh, what the hell are we doing here? Like? There's the cans of beer. Just a few cans, right? Guess that we'd see four, five, six, seven, eight cans I brought up. Eight. I've never brought eight up before. 
I don't even remember packing them two on the end. I don't know why I've brought them. You were nervous struggling up that hill. I carry three litres of water up. I took a litre and a half as well. Big tarn there. <laughs> we're not real, are we? No, we're not reading ahead. So it's not looking I like it. Like oh, it's uh, it's on a bit of um, it's on a bit of resistance tree, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Resistance. And we all know resistance is futile. Futile. Word, yeah. So we're gonna get in the tent, dry it off, and then just sit and chat at each other. Because <laughs> we're not coming out. Not coming to pier tonight. No, my feet are squelching, man. So much for waterproof boots, and I'm wearing shorts. You know what I'm doing? Wearing shorts. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my bag, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna get my bag, and I'm gonna put the waterproof cover on, and I'm gonna peg it to the ground. Peg it. Aye. <laughs> so here we are, um, in the tent. I've changed into my dry stuff. These are absolutely ringing wet, ringing wet. I can put them back on tomorrow. Yeah. Not looking forward to that. T-shirts soaking. We're just discussing the merits of waterproof clothing. It turns out they're not waterproof at all. We've probably got about two grams worth of waterproof clothing with with. And not. And our three were wet. Not We've one of it worked. Worked. We've yeah, only walked good. less than a mile. Yeah. yeah good. And to what? be honest, it's not that much of a downfall either. It's wet enough just to get. It's that rain that gets you wet, isn't it? So I brought mm. asparagus, tomatoes, and some parsley, curly parsley, some Kerry curly parsley, <laughs> and if I can just look in here. I don't know how this. Don't know how this is panned out. I don't know how this is going to work out. But I've brought a nice big bit of salmon. Nice big salmon fillet. I'm gonna get that cooking with some sweet and sticky teriyaki. Sweet and sticky teriyaki. Right. <laughs> Did you play for Liverpool, didn't he? Teriyaki. No, he didn't. Uh, was it Newcastle? It was, it was born, it? Grampus 8. <laughs> Japanese team, teriyaki. Right, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna reach out and get one of them beers and basically sit here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> nothing to do. We've got no signal, we can't even get the music on. Oh, no. oh, come on, man. Wild camping. It's a joke. It's a joke. Oh, I'd just like to uh, mention that this is Leanne's tent, by the way. Not my solo. I nearly brought the double D hammock. I'm so glad I didn't bring that. Like, you want the double D hammock? The, the tarp tent. Oh, I... It's the inner pitch first, would have been absolutely sick. It would have been nice with all the space and big enough, you know what I mean? And it's good in the rain, but putting it up, it would have been drenched. <laughs> Get this. So, I've got the pan ready. All ready, yeah. Give it a costly bit of butter. And we've got the pot grab. Stove there, away from the door, a good distance from the door. We've got um, the protective thing underneath. It's over. It's about ready to start, like. Another beer on. Eternal sunset. Eternal sunset in this weather. How inappropriate. Never mind. Now we've got the butter sizzling in the pan. Inside down, get it in. Turn that up a little bit. Let it sizzle. Look at that, lovely, lovely. Perfect, yeah. Nice. Turn it up to brown it up. It's crispy skin. I don't like to eat the skin. But nice when you cook it on the skin. So there's the tomatoes in and the asparagus in the garlic butter. Cook it away lovely. That's done. Nice. I'm going to put it all back in the pan when it's all cooked and I'm going to put this teriyaki sauce on it. 
And then serve it up. So I've thrown the salmon back in. The teriyaki sauce is in. Now I'm just letting it all just simmer away for about five minutes, just to just to soften the asparagus up a little bit. And then the test. I've got a bit of parsley to throw on. I'll stick it all on a plate. We'll come back when it's on the plate. Oh, I turned the gas off. So here we are. Here is the finished article. We've got the salmon. Oh, look at that salmon. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Sugar drop tomatoes. Oh, it's hot. Asparagus with the parsley. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, that is nice. I've just got the teriyaki sauce. Really, really nice. Right, I'm going to polish this off. And then we'll bring you back. It's absolutely hammering down out there. Have a look. Tom was having Thai green curry. And uh, Sid's got chilli, chilli and rice with extra chilli, which apparently is killing them. All right then, Sid. Aye, aye, I am. How's it You got your pants off? I just sit me undies. I'll just film you from the heat up button. <laughs> Anik here. <clears throat> Anik here, Rory. What's that? Dan uh, in the desert. Dancing in the desert. Oh, dancing in the desert. Aye, uh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's I horrible. recommend it. It's four pound on a car now. <laughs> That's a okay. nice honest review, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How is it? Horrible. <laughs> I'm going to say, Tampo, are you alright? Yeah, you got your underpants on? I've got my shorts on, I'm alright. I'm fine, I. How is it I'm gone? Right. It's getting it's wet. It's, I'm drying here, like. So. How's the bacon, did you say? Aye, how's the bacon? It's alright. It's, right. it's, it's, it's what it is, isn't it? Are you loving your night out? I am, I. It's, it's looking terrible out there. Like. It's better than sitting in the house, isn't it? No. In a nice, warm, no. dry house. No. <laughs> it's no. freaking awful. The wind's been blowing along on sheets. It just keeps coming. It's just coming down from, I think it's coming from there. And it's just pushing. Aye. Oh, I, think, I, think, I think I know where it's coming from. It's coming from behind where there. You can see it. You can oh, see it. Just going to have a look here. Might as well have a look around while well, we're out. Okay, get, get back in. I won't be getting out again. Screen wiper. This is small water. Up there is Ill Bell. Um, Heart of Fell is up there. The Nan Beal passes over there. I've camped on. I've camped on them too. Like I've camped on just about every fell around here. Oh look, there's people over there. Give a wave. They must be mad coming up here. Right, I'm getting back in because it's getting horrible again I'm getting wet so yeah while camping give it a shot you'll live it you will love it my pants are drenched already I just got dry and now I'm soaking again nightmare Nightmare. We're still here. Oh. Well, it's getting wild now. Wild and woolly. Thumb up. Sydney. Me. Oh, it's just never ending like. This is like an 18 hour rainstorm, isn't it? Oh, coming in. Oh, I've, got the, um, I've got my beer in my boot. This is the $10 shake. Oh, hold on, I've got a light. This is the uh, $10 shake. Siren craft beer. Hold on. No. 
just tastes like every other beer. Pointless. Yeah, but the world, the world of microfiber towels has really been dead handy. This and that, like just for getting rid of the condensation and the rain that comes in with me when I go out. Ah, oh, just miserable. Absolutely miserable. Ten past nine. <laughs> oh, let me things we do. These things. Dambo, are oh, you loving it? Loving it I knew it. I knew he'd be loving it. Mate. There's some kids up. There's some dry. guys. Guys it's over there. Dry. Yeah, I was dry till I got out before. There's some guys over there. Just On the hill <laughs> over there, coming. Just turned up. They're keen. It's not pleasant. It's not grand. It ain't grand. That's true. Just make the most of it. Make the most of it, eh? We're definitely town ten pound like. I've only got out for a week. And, um, that was the worst thing ever. It was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Look at this man. Tamp over there. See it over there. Ah, oh, look at that. Horrible. Oh, it's awful. Got my ten dollar shake. We've got my coffee in the morning for the morning. Let's diffuse, let's diffuse this light. Can, can we get rid of this? Dead brightly. No. Right, diffuse the light. It's too bright, isn't it? Listen to that. Listen to him talking all them. Aye, so anyway, we've got the coffee for the morning. Um, your pot's ready, your pan. But, uh, oh, it's not that good. We've got all the wet clothes here. Look at these socks are drenched. I've rang them out. Can't get them dry though. You just can't get them dry because it's just, well, it's just wet. There's my shorts for the morning. We a ton soaking. Oh, hold on a minute. Wayne's coming. The t shirt for tomorrow. Soaking. It's going to be so uncomfortable putting all this stuff back on in the morning. <laughs> We're going to have to do it though. You've just got to do it. Once it's on, it's alright, you know. It's just the, the initial thought of getting it all on. I'm going to get my sleeping bag out in a minute. I'll probably get in. I've got my math here. This Ah, feels nice. Yeah, we're cosy enough. We're cosy. Are we having fun? Tambo, are you having fun? Having the best fun in life. Are you having your best? Are you living your best life? Oh, I definitely are. Good news. I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Are you sure about that now? I am, I. The world, you say? I'm, I'm deadly serious. Aye? Would you change it for a yacht? Tell you, what is, I'm yacht, no, like, you see, you see, I've got him there. He wants a yacht. Anybody got a yacht to spare? Come was after a yacht. Yeah, you hesitated there, like when I said a yacht. Who? You? Yeah. I know where your loyalties lie. I know where your loyalties lie. Uh, if I had a yacht, I'd probably have one of these pencils. No, would you? Uh, would you? That would be your best, like. If you're watching this, right, would you? Yacht boy. Great. Clean the lens. We've got, uh, <coughs> it's nearly 10 o'clock. It's just not letting up, like. So we've got this, the eating mess. This is one of our, like, the third week in a row I've had this beer out. Eating mess, only 6%. S43, local brewery in Newcastle. What is it? Mixed berry sour, right? So sour beers are uh, a bit of a, a quiet taste. Oh, 
it's like pop, you know, it's like just the drink and make fizzy pop. Mmm, mmm. Don't know if I'm a fan of that. It's like Vimto. But, um. <coughs> Ten pound all night, like been all right. Now we've been within shouting distance of each other, so we've been just yelling across the tents. So we've we've had a bit crack, like. But oh uh, man, listen to it, listen to it. It's never stopped raining. It's getting heavier, and the wind's picking up. But you know what? We're in. We're in. Right, and that's all that matters. We'll get the sleeping bag out in a minute. Get the bag out here. Look at the, the thermal rest again. This is a lovely mat. This egg is so good. This mat. I know it was expensive, right? But it's just so nice. It's really wide. You don't slide off it. It's so good. And this bag. That should be all right. That should be warm enough from that tonight. So basically, that's it. I've got one more beer to have after this, if I can be bothered. Divine Faith is another double IPA, Northern Monk double. Um, so unless anything amazing happens, we'll see you in the morning. If you look over here, oh, oh, yeah. across there, Tampo, you all right? Wait, oh, yeah, Sid, you all right? Wait, oh, yeah, I. We're having it. We're living our best lives, aren't we? We are living the dream. We are living the dream. <laughs> God knows what. Christ knows what the dream was, but we're living it. It's been a really bad dream. So yeah, we're gonna get in. And that's it. So we'll see you in the morning. Boosh. Battery died. So if there's a jump, that's why. If there's a jump there from whatever I was filming. Um, aye. I just didn't finish it. Oh, to be fair, it wasn't very nice. It's a bit jammy. Nah, not finishing that. Either. These gusts are mad. Wild gusts. Just coming and going. Everything's drenched. Oh, we'll get this all dried off. Cleaned out. And they put it in the garden now. So, we'll see you in the morning. Neat. Tamp or snoring. But I don't want to help anybody. It's not going well. Yeah. It's broke, the pole's snapped. I'm bailing out. Okay. Aye. The pole's just snapped like. Oh. Ah. God. It's not, it's not severe enough that I can't bail out. Look at it, man! Look at it! It's, go it's gone! It's gone! This tent is gone! Look at it! The pole has just snapped totally. Bail 
lad, I cannot stay in this tent leg. Huh? I think it's going to be more dangerous stopping here. Have you seen what's happened? I've broke our lass's tent. <laughs> I've knocked it. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to kill us. <laughs> huh? The middle pole's gone, ah, it's snapped. Oh, hey, yeah, me. It must have come loose. Guy lane must have, guy lane must have come out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Leah. <laughs> I'll buy you a new one. Oh. Oh. Can I kill it? Can I bear it? Woo! Oh my god! This is horrific. This is swollen right really high. The river has gone just madly. I don't know how I'm going to get over. The, um, the town must have filled up a bit. Oh, I'm in. Shit. I'm in anyway. Right, ready? Here's the wind coming. Brace yourself. Brace yourself, Rodney. Terrific. So bad. Just left them two up there. Oh. Woo. Woo. Oh. Right. <laughs> hey, it's blown us off my feet. Jesus. Oh. Man, it's horrendous. Sometimes you've just got to know when to call it. See my tent, the middle pole has been snapped. Obviously the guy lane has come out the back. So, with, I don't want to cause more damage to it. I can afford to buy a new middle pole. Can't afford a new fly sheet though. So I called it, bailed out. I know you're meant to stay with the tent, but it was just getting absolutely hammered. I didn't want it to get wrecked. Oh, we'll just get down here. We'll talk about this later. This is bad, man. Look at this. Well, I'm heading down. I've just bailed out, like, I don't know how much of that I've said previously. But, uh, the path's not great. Absolutely ringing wet. Heavens just open like I don't know what's going on. July man, it's July. And it's like this. This time last year, if you look at my videos, me and Tampo in the Langstrath Valley, I was swimming in the blooming lake. Uh, in the river. This year I'm bailing out. It was my fault like. I'll explain when I get back to the car. Ah, but for now. It's a bailout, a bailout, there's no shame in bailing out when it's like that. I couldn't have stayed with that tent, like. Tom was insisting I stayed with the tent, there's no way I could have stayed with that. It was just getting wrecked. I didn't want it to get wrecked. Alright. Nearly back down anyway. <sighs> the light is so bright. Right. Well, I'm down, I'm back at the car. Oh. Mark and Mark, Sid, are still back, are still up the top. Their tents were all right. It, totally my fault. What I should have done was put the delta pegs on the guy lines at the back, and I didn't. I just used normal pegs, and of course the back one must have come out, must have pulled out. That panel's coming in like this, and I should have got out, you know, and sorted it out, and I didn't. 
I just left it. I thought, oh, it'll be all right. The wind was bad. It was coming in the door panel as well, so it was coming that way. And it was also coming this way. So it was hitting that door panel. It was hitting that panel. Just an absolute disaster. User error. You'd think I'd know what I was doing, wouldn't you? I've done it so many times. I decided to bail because the pole was snapped. Right, yeah, get in the tent and make it into a bivvy, but the um, the thing was just flapping around. The wind was just absolutely hammering it. I didn't want it to get ripped. It's not my tent, you know. It's typical, isn't it? I borrowed somebody's tent and it's got sh trashed. <laughs> I'll have to buy a new red pole. The red pole will be all that's wrong with it. So I'll get one of them. You can get them from, uh, you can get them direct from Hindenburg. The red poles, that's basically all that was wrong with it. Was, it was like damage limitation. Just get it packed away and bail out. I know the area, I know this area really well. I know that path. Um, I know it's not it's not dangerous, the path, so I made the decision to come down. I had a head torch. Don't think Mark Tompo has got a head torch, so that's why he didn't come down. When I left, he was snoring his head off. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So I'm just gonna sit and wait for them coming down. Oh, I'm gonna, oh. Can remember this one, like? So it's user error. Basically, not the tent's fault. Them other two tents, red labeled solos, standing fine there. It was just me. I should have got out and I should have pegged it properly. And I didn't. And I've paid the price for it. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned the hard way. Right, we'll wait and see what they say when they come back. I'm just sat in the car now. It's absolutely horrendous the weather. I feel bad for them. I hope that um I hope they're packing away now like first light they said. It's getting light now so they need to be packing away and get down. Right. We'll catch them later. <laughs> 